not been aware, there was a funny thing that happened on our website last Thursday, as I recall, uh, where some specifications were posted on a Power Mac G4 page. It looked pretty remarkable, and it's true. We are delivering today the world's fastest personal computer, and we're calling it the G5. It is a 64-bit processor. It is the world's first 64-bit desktop processor. It is the fastest frontside bus ever. These are some of the highlights of the new G5. Now, it's got an entirely new architecture that has the industry's highest bandwidth and massive branch prediction logic, which I don't know what it does. Predicts branches. <laughs> I don't know. But it's a good thing. This is a new generation architecture, and this is just the beginning. And we are thrilled with this partnership with IBM. It's producing dramatic results. We're going to compare three systems with three chips in them. Number one, two gigahertz G5 with a one gigahertz bus. Second, a 3.0 gigahertz Pentium 4 with an 800 megahertz bus, the fastest we can get our hands on, the fastest you can buy. And a 3.06 gigahertz Xeon processor, again, the fastest Xeon you can buy. So we are 10% slower on integer and 21% faster on floating point. I think we can safely say that we basically caught up with a single processor system, the fastest you can buy. But now let's look at dual processor. We are 3% faster on integer and a whopping 41% faster on floating point than the dual Xeon machines. And we can now clearly say that the new Power Mac G5 is the world's fastest personal computer. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we're opening up this file. It's over 360 megabytes. It has over 100 actions that the artist did to create this movie poster. We're continuing to scream along in the G5, getting real work done. And the artist working on the PC probably just went to get a latte. <laughs> and there, the, the Mac, Mac is, is done. done. It will finish. Turns out we've timed this, and it's about 2.1%. Uh, okay. uh, the the uh, Mac is 2.1 times as fast as the PC. All right, the PC's almost done. It's Great. done! I'm sure that's not how BT meant for it to sound. Well, we could sit here and listen to this, or we could choose to use another computer. So let's take a listen to it on the Mac. Get tired okay. if you'd like to. Sure. Okay. Sounds a world better. So let's summarize. Adobe Photoshop, over twice as fast on the Power Mac G5 as the fastest Pentium, I mean the fastest uh, PC money can buy a dual 3.06 Xeon. Luxology turned out to be 2.3 times faster on the G5. Wolfram Research turned out to be 2.3 times faster. And Logic, well, I don't know how to calculate that. <laughs> so 
in real world tests and in spec tests, we can clearly say we've caught up and with the PC and passed them on both integer and floating point to be the fastest computer in the world. Hey guys, um, uh, UPS just came by and uh, look at what we have here. Big box. So, there's another, there's, and I mean another PowerMag G5 in here. Uh, the first one, the one that doesn't work, is on the ground next to me. Um, I need to send that back. I still need to send that back because it still doesn't work. Now, I made very, very, I, I was very, very careful to buy the correct one, or to buy a better one. This one uh, supposedly only has a few scratches on it. Um, looking on the box, I hope it's not damaged at all because this box does look to be pretty beaten up. Um, it came all the way from Illinois or something. I'm not exact exactly sure, but um, um, so yeah. Uh, there's my dog, so I hope she doesn't get in the way. But um, we're gonna unbox it now and we're gonna set it up. So before we get started, this is the fastest G5 I've ever made. A quad core, 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, I believe it has 2 gigs of RAM. I'm not sure on the video card, but that's going to be pretty cool to see what kind of video card it has in here. It's either going to be a 128 or a 256. I'm really hoping for a 256 because I'm going to be editing 1080p video on this with iMovie 09. So, um, so I'm going to do this as fast as I can because I'm very, very eager to be using this. Alright, so let me turn the box around and get this stuff right here. Uh, the one I got before, the broken one, was a dual 2.5 GHz, so this one should be faster than that one. I never got to use the, that one because it had a lot of problems with it. I hope I don't get these. Oh, that's awesome. These freaking packaged peanuts everywhere. This is awesome. And I have the fan on. These things are going to go everywhere. Well, it looks to be very well packaged. Um... I'm gonna, these things are just gonna go everywhere. This sucks. I'll just have them go on my bed. So I can easily pick them up later. So, um, it is coming with the original keyboard and mouse. Um, I will have to use the original mouse so I get an Airport Extreme card. And I'll have to tether the internet from my MacBook Pro. Um, oh, where's the scissors? I need put down the scissors. Alright, here they are. Really, I have been looking at these for about a year now. Just a few months ago, I, I um, was still wanting to buy one, but I wasn't feeling very um, secure buying one, because you know the whole thing about PowerPC, and there's the um, power cable, and it is the original, which is nice. <laughs> comes off and we've got let's see <clears throat> we've got we, I think it's still the original tape on this so I think that should be removed although I just might keep it on there for a better value in case I sell this or whatever so wow these processors are huge compared to the other G5 that I had that's or I still have it just not working so we've got this thing, and we've got the G5s, and these things are, this thing's huge. It's a quad core, so it's still a very powerful machine. And just get the uh, air, or the fan out of here. It is supposed to come out, I think. Okay, yeah. Uh, these things are metal, they're not even plastic, they're metal. Um, this thing needs tons of air to work properly and there's dust in there all right so you can see there is some um, there is some dust in there that needs to be cleaned out not too bad I mean nothing like um, if you've seen it's my natural colors unboxing 
of this of the G5, you could see how much dust was in his machine. But it looks very nice. Um, got an optical drive in there. And uh, again, we don't have the screws that are supposed to be in there, so I'll have to buy some in case I ever want to. Or, or I will, indefinitely, I will upgrade the hard drive or put new hard drives in it. Uh, but, yeah. So this is hanging out. It needs to be put down there. And it looks like we only have, or we have two one gig modules. So it is two gigs, which um, I do need to upgrade. That's not going to last me very well, or do me very well, because I do need quite a bit of RAM in this machine to um, balance out the processor and all that, because it is going to edit a lot of 1080p video, and I'm not sure how it's going to handle that kind of power, or that kind of um, har handling that much power that it needs with uh, only 2 gigs of RAM and a 128 meg graphics card. I don't think it's going to have a 256 in it, so I need to upgrade that as well. Um, so, but I, I, I bought it so cheap because of that. Um, this is really a big project for me that I need to work on. Um, I need to perform, or I need to do a lot of upgrades on this machine. And I'll just put this back on. Alright, so, I have to move all the junk off my table, and I don't want to show you because it looks very dirty, and I need to set this up, um, and once it's done, set, or once it's set up, um, we'll continue. Okay, so it's set up now, as you can see, um, everything's set up, there's the Power Mac, I hope it turns on, um, keep your fingers crossed, um, but probably if this thing doesn't turn on, you won't see this video, but hopefully it will. Um, it should be booting into Leopard, hopefully. So I'm really nervous, so here we go. I hope we hear a startup chime. Okay, so I think I fixed it. I hope I did. Um, I read a form on my MacBook Pro that said, if you want to read this, I don't know, said to replace or, or uh, replace the RAM or something. Um, what I did was, and um, it's only a gig. I looked at the actual RAM cards. It's 512 megs, so that's going to suck. It's a gig of memory, which this thing can hold 16 gigs. So I am going to definitely put 16 gigs in here. But um, anyway... Uh, the 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 person said to our uh, uh, to switch the RAM card. So what I did was I took the RAM card off the top and off the bottom, and I switched them. And I pressed the power button real quick, and I got a bong or a startup chime, and I switched it off. So here we go. I hope this works because I'm gonna be very very upset if it doesn't. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm about to have a heart attack. It is booting. Thank God. Um, again, I re-switched the uh, RAM cards in a different position, so it is booting. Very stressful, this whole thing. Um, well, this part, anyway. So we should be booting into a uh, leopard, and let me just move her out of the way. Alright, so we've got the Leopard Dock. It did boot very fast, too. So I'm going to put the um, hard shell or the, this thing back on and we'll continue. And I'll put it in the back and I'll put the USB stuff back on. Alright, so hey guys, um, I fixed the resolution on the screen and I plugged in the computer or I plugged in all the stuff into the computer so here it is we've got iTunes 10.2.0 quick time and we're going we're going to need uh, we're definitely gonna need a new update of Safari so that should be in here once I update this um, but we've got the new version of QuickTime well that's not the new one anymore but 
um, a bunch of stuff. iTunes, which is going to be awesome, having iTunes 10 on here. So install three items, and oh, I think the other person didn't put a password because that would have taken me like like a, like an hour to fix. You know, um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this hack, but um, you go and you boot off of, or you boot into Unix on the computer, or to the command, or to the terminal. But you know, like the main terminal, not the terminal program. But um, when you start up, you press down a key. All right, so hey guys. Um, it's been a couple hours, and I think I've gotten it just about the way I want it. Um, it's running perfectly. I have no problems with it at all. With one gig of RAM, it's still running amazingly. Um, right now, I'm using a little program called Multilingual, and I will make a video on all of this stuff. Um, so, um, this is just removing some of the extra languages that I will never need. I have my mobile me set up. I have everything set up, and it's just going great. Um, I'm about to sync my iPhones with it, and I guess some of you might want to see that, but I did a Geekbench test on it, and it got an amazing 3,430 score. I'm sure it would get even higher, but I don't have the full version, so I'm using the 32-bit version. But that's... Um, if, if you really know about these PowerPC Macs, that's amazing for a PowerPC Macintosh. Th uh, 3,430... Now that's a really good score. Um, I'm sure I can get this thing up to about maybe 5,000 once I upgrade the graphics card and the RAM. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. But that's really, really good for this machine. Um, it's, you know, this thing is, um, it's, it's, it's almost six years old, which is unbelievable for a computer that old can get a Geekbench score of four or 3,430. Um, just try doing a score on a PC um, from 2005 and see what you get. You probably get a thousand if you're lucky. Um, but, I mean, that's just really good. There are a lot more videos that are going to come from this machine and on about this computer and you know just a lot of videos that are going to come from this computer and about it I'm going to edit most of my or probably 80 percent of my videos are going to be edited on this computer um, I'm going to get final cut for it um, I just need to see which version I'm going to get and how I'm going to work that out um, but it's running great I watched a, ver a whole episode of South Park on here in 1080p alright so um hey guys it's copying, uh, well, it's it's going pretty well, and um, I'm very happy with how it's doing. Um, we're going to install iLife, but um, I've got my mobile me set up on it, as you can see there, and uh, she's doing great. Um, I'm currently moving all my stuff onto iTunes with home sharing, so uh, let's see if we can play a song. Maybe. So I want the iTunes Classic Visualizer. See, I'm not going to play that too long because we'll get the whole copyright problem. But, um, <coughs> it is, it is uh, playing very well. Um, one gig of RAM is not good, I can tell you that. Um, I'm kind of worried about one gig of RAM. But it should hold out until I can buy some more RAM cards. So I've still got a lot to do on this machine. I've still got to again install install iLive install um, Q and Q is an emulator. Um, I do have virtual virtual PC, but I, I don't know where it is, and I don't think I'll be able to find it. But um, Q is an emulator that emulates an Intel machine on a power PC, so I can use that. And I'm going to attempt, and I mean attempt, 
to install this 64-bit copy of Windows 7 on here. And I, I mean very highly attempt. I very highly doubt it's not going to work. But I will give it a try. Um, I'm not... The only thing that I think would be limiting it was is the 1 gig of RAM. Um, I think Windows 7 requires 1 gig of RAM exactly. So I'm not sure on that. But um, I'm going to attempt. So... I'll check out um, YouTube again, and I've decided if I can't watch 10 or 720p video on here, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to, um, what, what am I saying? I'm going to use HTML5 from now on, because I am not going to use watch 280p video. I refuse to do that. Alright, so it appears to be playing in 360. So we'll just go all the way up to 1080p and see how it handles on here. So this is one of my videos. I'm very surprised that it's playing in full frame rate. Well, actually, it's skipping around a little bit, but that's because I have iTunes open and a few other things. But look at that. That's a rare thing. This is a PowerPC Mac. Okay, a PowerPC Mac, a G5, playing YouTube in full-rate 1080p video on Flash Player. Now, that is something that you don't see every day. Amazing. And by the way, this video was taken with this camera. But just amazing. That That's just amazing to me. That it's actually playing it in 1080p. Even though, of course, this screen can't display 1080p, it is playing it. And it still works just as hard to play it, even though it can't. So, um, I'm very happy that it is playing in full frame rate. Now, let's go watch some South Park do is we'll play the um if you watch South Park, we'll play the Apple or the Apple episode, Human Synth iPad. So yeah, that's pretty funny. We'll play this. I'm gonna be really happy with this machine. So yes, it is playing it in HD. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, it really is. Alright, so, it just had the buffer, but this is full-rate 1080p video playing on my Power Mac G5. That is really, really awesome. To be as nerdy as I am, I really, really like to see that. That just goes to show you, these computers aren't obsolete yet. That's just a great thing, because out of every PowerPC Mac I've ever used, this is the only one... This is the only machine that I've ever used that can actually play a decent HD flash video. And this isn't just 720, this is full 1080p video playing on here, which is awesome. Um, but, if you don't if you don't watch South Park, um, check it out, it's a cool show. Um, it may not be appropriate for everybody, but it is an awesome show. So, um, I'll quit Safari, and we'll install iLife now. So this is iLife 09. And I think my memory card's just about to run out of space. And I already verified this, so I'm just going to skip it. I did verify it on my MacBook Pro. So, iLife 09, latest version that can run on the PowerPC, unfortunately. This thing would be able to run any modern software. This thing is a beast. I mean, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 meg graphics card, quad core, 2.5 gigahertz. It's a freaking beast. Alright, so continue. Continue. Agree. Install. 
Actually, I want to go back and customize something. I want um, everything. I want the full suite. I want everything on here. So I'm just making sure that all of that's clicked. Install. Okay, and I haven't put my password on here yet. It's going to be even better once it has... Uh, what's it called? Once it has the uh, upgraded... I, I, I think a safe thing would be... Um, Four gigs of RAM. This thing could get by okay with four gigs of RAM. Um, but until then, I think it's going to be a little bit sluggish. Or a lot sluggish with um, only one gig of RAM. But if I can get four gigs of RAM on here, I'll be happy until I can save up more money and buy the full 16 gigs of RAM. Um, so, um, it's going to finish installing iLife and I'm going to register iLife. And I'll see you once I'm done with I just that. finished installing iLife 09, and I'm very happy with this machine. It runs great. It really does. I, while iLife 09 was installing, I was watching a 20-minute 720p YouTube video with Flash, and it played flawlessly. You know, the one thing I did notice, which really doesn't bother me, is how um, when as soon as you turn on Flash, the fan starts spinning a lot uh, higher so that just shows you how bad flash is on any computer I really don't care for flash I'm ready for HTML to take over and I would I would be using HTML5 on YouTube except for the whole thing about you are the whole thing is that you can't watch the video in full screen if you use HTML5 which I think is really gonna bring HTML5 down unless they can fix that somehow so restart um, I did, I don't know if I said this already, that's, I'm kind of tired. I did put, um, Word and, or I did put Office 2008 and I put iWork09 on here. So now, we'll open up iMovie real quick just to see how it looks. Um, I will be editing this video on this computer with this program, so it should turn out to be pretty nice. Alright, so, iMovie 09, very nice. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you a little trick So uh, to get iWork09 for free. So all you have to do is go uh, into our apple.com and I'll just show you. You need to download the uh, iWork09 trial and it's completely free. I think you might have to put in your email address. Once you do that and you install it, you'll get this. You'll get the buy or you'll get the try. So just click buy. And all you have to do, or sorry about that, that's my email. All you have to do is go into iWork09, or just type in on YouTube iWork09 for free. And you don't even have to go into the video. You can just find a serial number as this one, or as like this one. You copy it, command C, paste it in here, and it's this is very simple. Continue, create. Put it in your your uh, email and all that. Okay, so um. <clears throat> wow, okay, so I saved 3.8 gigs of memory with this multilingual thing. Um, I'm going to make a video on that probably tonight on this very computer um, once I'm done editing the unboxing. But like I was saying, um, so here's the sync cable. It's connected into the port there. And here it is. Um, I'm sure this really isn't that exciting, but I just wanted to sh do this because it is pretty cool to actually sync I, like how many people can say that they sync 
an you, their iPod or an, or an iPhone or something on a Power PC Mac. That's just cool to me. Um, so I'm gonna go into iTunes. And I gotta unlock my iPod. And it just charged, or it should be charging. There we go, there we go. It's right here in the dock. Or, no, I'm sorry, in the iTunes. Um, so here it is, you know, it's really awesome. Um, so it's, we've got our info, uh, and we should have all of that. So, we am gonna sync. And I'm gonna do any break and sync, because all of my stuff is on here, that's on my MacBook Pro, I transferred it all. Um, so it's gonna start to sync, and that should be really cool. Um, but this, this video is going to be too long, so, um, as you see, this So, long. thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me anything you need at all, any help, um, any advice on buying one of these, um, please go ahead and ask me. They're great machines. Um, I am going to make a video on why I bought it and all that stuff. That's just going to be in a future video. But really, I th um, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.